Cowabunga, folks. Today's test is 6.5 millimeter Grendel Hornady American Gunner 120 grain open tip match. 6.5 millimeter Grendel is an unusual cartridge. It has more powder capacity than a 5.56 millimeter and a larger bullet. Its purpose is mainly long range shooting and for some folks, they like it for hunting. It packs an awful lot of powder into an envelope that still fits inside a standard AR-15 lower receiver. This particular load is a standard bullet weight in this caliber. Open tip match or hollow point rifle bullets often fragment if their impact velocity is high enough, although that isn't universally true. We never know for certain whether a hollow point rifle bullet will come apart like a bomb or behave like a full metal jacket until we test that exact bullet at a given velocity. Now let's get out to the range and shoot 6.5 millimeter Grendel Hornady American Gunner 120 grain OTM through a 16 inch AR-15 into calibrated 10% organic ballistic gelatin. Gentlemen, <laughs> that was frag nasty. Uh, we've seen before that OTMs, Botel hollow points, uh, tend to fragment pretty well when they're pushed fast enough. And this was, of course, going fast enough to get the job done. The penetration, I put these blocks back together where they were, 20.3 inches, uh, which is, of course, over the 18 inch FBI recommended max for defensive use. I've mentioned before that I don't believe that over penetration is really n near the risk that a lot of people make it out to be. If that's a priority for you, then this is not a good choice for defensive use. Out of a shorter barrel, at longer distance, lower velocity anyway, we would generally probably see a little bit less fragmentation and therefore a little bit deeper penetration. So the amount of penetration that you're seeing here is probably more or less the best case scenario as far as reduced. Um, of course, obviously well over the 12 inch minimum. And of course, this would certainly get the job done. In terms of hunting or large animal defense, uh, absolutely excellent performance. If you're looking for something that has better weight retention, doesn't leave a bunch of fragments, ruin a lot of meat, maybe this isn't the best choice. But in regard to tissue destruction and terminal performance, this is outstanding. Let me get some more measurements off of here. So the neck is four inches. The area disturbed by the TSC in the gel is about nine inches long by three inches wide. Yeah. We have significant fragments here, here, here. Quite a few of the main larger chunks all stayed in about this, this range, which is about 14 inches deep. We'll get the projectile out of here. Oh. <laughs> well, it was attached to the base, but it f the lead core fell out of the base as I pulled it out of the block. Let's get some of these buggers off of here. base of the bullet. All smushed up and the front's just blown right off of it, but that will ruin your day. 
All right, uh, this is kind of interesting. So the short answer is yes, it fragments, and that does produce a nasty wound. But the neck, that's the part of the wound track before the fragmentation begins, is relatively long at four inches. That's not so long as to disqualify this for defensive use. Um, some 556 OTM has a similar length neck, but it's also less than ideal. Predictably, the penetration was deeper than the FBI recommended 18 inch maximum. We're probably going to see that in most 6.5 ammo because it tends to have high sectional density. So yes, some of the metrics here are suboptimal, but all in all, good performance for bulk priced ammo. The big concern to me is that 300 foot per second extreme spread in the velocity figures. That's monstrous. Now, it's possible that the anomalous readings are chronograph errors, but I haven't had any trouble with this chronograph before. It definitely isn't a typo because this chronograph transmits the data to an app on my phone via Bluetooth where I can email it. Do any of you folks have chronograph results on this load? If so, please post them down below in the comments and we'll compare notes. I hope you found this video informative, or at the very least, entertaining. If you think I've earned it, please help support our channel by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Your support makes a lot of difference in this time where YouTube is trying to crush content like this. It's not just some lame crap that YouTubers say at the end of videos. All those actions are forms of engagement that drive the decisions made by the algorithm. And because subscribing doesn't really mean anything anymore either, please make sure you click that little bell icon down there so you can actually get a notification when we post a new video. If you want to find out how to rent a Phantom V642 or other high-speed camera just like the one that I used to capture this video, contact Aimed Research. Their contact info is in the description. I hope you have a great day, and remember, wherever you go, there you are.